Hello everyone. Hello my YouTube family. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Praise the Lord. Today is Wednesday 23rd of March 2022 and today's topic is He Talks to Your Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So before we start this morning, as we always do, let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We honor you this morning for who you are. We thank you for your blessings that had in no sorrow. We thank you for peace of mind and rest in our side. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for our daily bread. Father, we honor you this morning. We are gathered this morning to study your word because your word is all we need for a perfect day. As we meditate on your word this morning, thank you for understanding of your word. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome. And today's topic of Rhapsody of Reality is He talks to your spirit. Praise the Lord. John 10 verse 27 says, My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. John 10 verse 27 praise the lord and our man of god continue i am born again and i speak in tongues i pray but i have never heard the holy spirit talk back or speak to me is there something wrong with me some people have found themselves asking this question again and again If as a Christian, you find it difficult to design the voice of the Spirit, it is not because his voice is weak when he speaks. First, the Holy Spirit probably has been speaking to you, hallelujah, and you have not been listening to him, or you are thinking it is your mind that is talking to you. The Holy Spirit always talks to us, praise the Lord, but we listen to him, not with our physical ears, but with our spirit from within us, hallelujah. If you are listening with your spirit, you will hear him, and again, when you study the scriptures, he talks to you, therefore, whenever you are studying the word, it is an opportunity for the Holy Spirit to minister to you, to talk to you. So, accept his teachings and his guidance from the Bible. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. He talks to you, therefore, whenever you are studying the word, it is an opportunity for the Holy Spirit to minister to you to talk to you hallelujah praise the lord second timothy 3 16 says all scripture is given by inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction praise the lord in righteousness when a christian says i talk to the lord but he doesn't talk back to me what that person need to realize is that when you talk to him he doesn't necessarily have to talk to you while you are on your knees waiting no he may not act at that moment but he always talks to you he talks to you every day praise the lord so as a child of god never say i don't know whether the holy spirit talks to me say what jesus said I know the Father and He knows me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I hear and recognize His voice, Jesus said. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Praise the Lord. John 10 verse 27. Hallelujah. Therefore you say, I know the voice of the Master. I know the voice of the Holy Spirit and He talks to me. When you say that, your spirit will become conscious of the voice of the Holy Spirit within 
and of his guidance and words in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What a wonderful topic this morning. He talks to your spirit. Today, Pastor is helping us to understand the Holy Spirit positions in our lives. Praise the Lord. And how he communicates to us. How you can accept him. Praise the Lord. Because he's just a human being like you and I. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have to be conscious of him in your life. You have to listen to him. Praise the Lord. And Pastor say, you might say, how do you know if the Holy Spirit is speaking to you? You will surely know. Because the Holy Spirit always makes a difference. And His word always comes to pass. Praise the Lord. So, all you have to be, do is to have faith. Believe that it's in you. Be conscious of Him in your life. Hallelujah. You know, uh, I had the information today. I already got this information three days ago. Three days ago, I got that information. But I just like... I did not really read meaning to it, but I know it's going to happen one way or the other, but the timing, I just didn't know. Praise the Lord. But I got this information like two or three days ago, and all of a sudden I got a message on my phone, and that was the information. I said to the person, I already got this information you are giving to me two or three days ago, and he was so surprised. Praise the Lord. So this is how the Holy Spirit speaks to us, but sometimes we undermine it. And we feel that it's our mind or maybe because we think about such thing before we sleep. Praise the Lord. No. And I bow myself to God and say, Father, thank you for choosing me to reveal such things to me. Praise the Lord. Sometimes I get the, the old day activities, what will happen in the day activities. Sometimes, you know, you might be ignorant and just, you know, show it. And at the end of the day, when the thing happens, you discover that, oh, I've gone through this. Is it like I'm repeating my life? So there is nothing that will happen to me that, the, that God will not reveal to me first. It's just for you to not know how to act accordingly. That's because I, I, I have to write some down. There are, if you like my iPad, the note session, you see so many. I'll say 3rd of January, I received this. 1st of so 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 day, I received this. So, this is it. The Holy Spirit, you have to be conscious because I realize. Because sometimes when people tell me about it, that's when I know that, oh, it is God that was telling me this thing. You understand? So, what I do now, I jot things down. When I dream, when I have a revelation, I, what I do, I write it down. I jot it down. So that's what I do. So because of that, as you are having that zeal, as you are judging it, that shows that the Holy Spirit knows that you are conscious of Him in your life. Praise the Lord. So that is what Pastor is saying. You, know, you have to be conscious of Him in your life. And that is how you begin to design when is your physical mind talking to you and when is the Spirit talking to you. When something comes to your mind when you are not even thinking about it, know that the Spirit is talking to you. Hallelujah. So this is how it works. You have to be conscious of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit in your life. Praise the Lord. So that is what Pastor is trying to communicate to us today. So with that being said, let's take the prayer and confessions together. Dear Father, I thank you for the ability to hear you speak through your word and your spirit and recognize your voice. My spirit is sensitive to your voice. The way of the Spirit have been unveiled to me, and I am guided from within and through the world to know and walk in the path of life. In Jesus' name, Amen. For that study, you can look at Isaiah 4 in verse 21, at 4 in verse 2, John 16, verse 7 to 13. More your Bible reading plan, you can look at Luke 5, verse 1 to 16, and Deuteronomy 25 to 27. Clear Bible with the plan, Romans 2 verse 12 to 20 and Psalm 91.
So at your leisure time, you can go through the scriptures and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. What a time we had today. Praise the Lord. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional. And I want to use this opportunity to invite you, if you're not born again, if you have not given your life to Christ, I want to use this opportunity to invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. All you have to do is very simple. is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Praise the Lord. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me, that God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him, and in his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am my child of God. Hallelujah. If you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are my child of God. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. God bless you. So before we go, let's end it with prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we honor you this morning. We thank you for your word that we have received this morning. Indeed, we are blessed by your word. Thank you for our going out and our coming in this morning. Thank you, Father, for giving us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Thank you for victory in Christ Jesus. Thank you for your blessings that had it no sorrow. Father, we know that something great is happening in our life today. There's something perfect. Is happening through us today for in Jesus mighty name we pray amen thank you all you have a fabulous Wednesday I'll see you same time tomorrow by the grace of God God bless you bye